Hello there, YouTube. I am once again back with the second part of this episode of Hustle Castle. So, um, I've just been sort of grinding and training for a bit. As you can see, I've upgraded one of my uh, food production rooms, and I'm in the process of upgrading another one. Because if I do that, then I should be able to make some progress on this quest. I have a couple chests I can open. So we'll just do that then. That's interesting. Seems to be a uh, mage item. Ooh, that's a lot of currency, and I don't think this rolling pin is better than anything that we currently have, but, I mean, you never know. Nope, does not seem to be any better. So, that we might break apart, or we could just keep it around. One thing I did want to do is I wanted to give him this mage staff. Uh -huh. Although I do want to compare it. Let's see. It's health restoration versus splash damage. However, he does need to be a higher level. I think he looks uh, pretty good with this right now, this sort of setup. So, hmm, be nice to get some better equipment for some of these people. I'm thinking of putting her in the training room. As you can see, I've also started crafting some spells. Um, my plan is that once I've gotten up to 50,000 gold, I'm going to build the alliance room, join an alliance. Then I'm probably going to upgrade my throne room, maybe some other rooms. I guess we'll have to see. So, I'm going to go out to the map. Hmm. It's a lot of tanks. I'm trying to decide whether or not I should go for this battle. It's gonna not going to be an easy battle, but I think we can fight it. Um, I've only got one spell currently available, but that might be pretty useful to use. Taking a lot of damage, but we are doing some damage again. Yeah, having two healers running at the same time is very powerful. I'm probably going to switch out somebody for a tank, but having Gray as a, uh, a backup wizard is going to be super helpful when I, for when I start to, uh, training up my team for uh, future battles. So I've got my training room upgraded. See, now we are fighting Shrum the Mighty Roots, and it looks like there's a new baby in the castle, so that's going to be pretty interesting. Alright, so I'm going to look at a couple things. So we can... Oh, and we killed an archer, I forgot about that, so that's going to be pretty cool. The primary stuff we have left is PvP battles. So... We'll just put... Oh, where did he go? Ah. So it looks like she is... Uh, Isabel is going to uh, have a baby sometime soon, so that should be interesting. That'll get us up to our, our maximum population. All right. Got some stuff to collect. And as you can see, I've been starting to, now with the mana I'm getting from this room, craft some spells, because that's the primary usage of mana. Spells can actually be quite powerful if they're uh, used correctly. So I'm going to open these two new chests. Mm, that's not great. I might break that one down. Ooh, that's actually something that we might be able to use. Um... Let's look up here. Let's compare 
This is an okay outfit, but... Oh, yeah, that definitely does a uh, good job. I want to see, is his better? Yes, it is. How about hers? No, I think this new one. Oh, wow, the new one actually might be... Sorry, I'm going back and forth. Uh -huh. But it looks like we can sort of move everybody up one outfit, sort of in the, uh, the ranks, so to speak. Oh, except the one that she currently had was a little bit better. And so I think we'll move Carter up here. As you can see, I'm training my backup archer as well as my main tank. Once she gets to level 20, I'm probably going to put her back in the rotation. And so it, it's going to be nice too. You see, I'm going to want to have a tank who is Victoria and my backup tank, Bree. I'm going to have a mage, Haytham, backup mage, Gray, and then an archer, Isabel, and a backup archer, Anna. Let's see, do we have any better bows? Does not look like it. And we'll give him, even though he's not going to be that great with uh, mm. gold production, we'll give him an outfit for that. Yeah. Let's see, is anybody down here? Is she better at gold production? She's three and three, he's two and two. So it's it's really just gold versus food, and this kitchen's not active right now. How about him? No, same deal. So pretty much how it is right now is about as good as it's going to get. All right, now she's at level 10. There were some archer outfits, but that one is level 15. Yay! However, Woo! we could get her into some training, get her to level 15, and then sort of move everybody up with the outfits. Let's see. That requires 14. What level is she at? She, she is at 10, so she won't be able to wear that one for a while. No, nope, looks like she... Nope, she is training. Yeah! All right, so... Hmm. I want her to be able to do something, but this kitchen's not producing food right now. And she's not really going to be good enough to replace anybody, so we'll put her up in mana production. <clears throat> Excuse me. I might want to do some more battles. Let me just look at the map. Oops. Hmm. It's a lot of uh, enemies. I might want to see if I have any spells. No spells. Hmm. I don't know. This might be a bit uh, too much of a, a gamble. Because that last level was awfully difficult as well. Actually, how many tanks were there? Three tanks. Yeah, that's probably beyond us until we've got our primary tank back. But, I mean, things are, are looking pretty nice around here. Seven minutes till that's finished crafting, and then about uh, 30 minutes until that room is done. So once the kitchen is done, my plan was to save up some gold so that I can get that alliance room. Let's see, I think the alliance room is two or three. So, oops, can't do that now. Have to clear that first, that uh, chest that I clicked on right there. All right. So things are going pretty nicely here in the castle. Uh, that's about all that I have happening right now. And so I'm probably going to sign off for today. Say thank you very much. See you later.